Today we're looking at Isle of Cats. It's going to be a card drafting polyomino cat placement board game where we are on a rescue mission to the Isle of Cats to save as many cats as possible before the evil Lord Vesh arrives on his boat. So our, the goal is to fit as many cats as possible on your boat and rescue them and try to keep the cat families together. So let's take a look and see how the game is played. quick overview of the setup. So in the middle you will place the island with the red cat side up and then to the sides are we're going to be considered the fields. And then you're going to place Vesh's boat on the five. This is the day tracker so we'll keep track of the rounds in the game. And then you will place the common treasures down here below based off of how many players you have. So I've set this up for a two-player game so I have five of each of these common treasures. And then above those, you will place the six Oshax tiles, which are these special cat tiles. And then you'll have a supply of fish tokens worth one and five. So the one here, that is for a five fish token. And then of course, the one is for one. Then you also have the uh, discovery cards, which has the blue back um, to the side over here. And then permanent baskets, you'll have a supply of that over here as well. And then you'll have the discovery bag in which you will have all of these cat tiles of different colors and you will also place the rare, the rare treasures in here. Now the difference between these, the rare treasures will be in the bag and they are more yellow. The common treasures are more orange. So that will be in the bag. You will also place these cat meeples in a supply over here as well. Now for each player, they, each player will have their own board of a boat and you will also place the red cat side up for this game and each player will also have their own permanent basket green side up to start and then you randomly decide who will be the first player and then that person will choose a color cat of their choice I will choose blue and then the first player will put it on the top paw print and then the other players will also choose their meeple and in turn order will place on the following paws. Let's quickly look at each player's boat. So each boat is going to have seven rooms, 19 rats spread across the boat, and then five uh, colored treasure maps. The rooms will be split up by these borders throughout the boat, which you can see. And also to help you distinguish the rooms, there are the I different icons for each room. So for instance, this is a separate room and there's this icon on each square within the room. And here's another room right here with these moon shaped icons. And then you got another room over here with the parrot. And then this is one large room that doesn't have any icon. And then you have some more rooms over here as well. It is also important to note that whenever rows and columns are referenced in this game, it is referring to a column of square tiles from one end of the boat to the other, and a row of square tiles from one end of the boat to the other. Also, the edge of the boat is also noted by this white border on the outskirts all around the boat. Whenever you rescue a cat, or befriend an Oshax tile, or receive a common or rare treasure tile, you will immediately place it on the boat. Tiles can be rotated in any direction or flipped to help place the tile wherever you want. Now tiles cannot overlap each other, so it can't go on top of this one. And the tiles might, must line up with squares, so you can't have it halfway on, halfway off. The first tile can be placed anywhere on the boat, but after that each tile must be adjacent to one before. 
Now, a diagonal touch like this does not count as adjacent, as adjacent. It must be touching the tile. Now, these treasure maps on the board are a way that you can get common treasures. If you place a tile and cover the matching color treasure map with the same color tile, for instance, if I place this like so, then I could pick a common treasure and then place it immediately on the board. So Isle of Cats is played over five days, with each day being a round in which you will perform many different things. So to start off the round, you will be grabbing tiles based off of how many players you have playing, and you will be placing them out in the right and left fields on either side of the island. So in a two-player game, I will be placing out four tiles on each side of the island, so it, that, be, that is two cat tiles per player. As you are filling in the fields with cat tiles, if you happen to pull out a rare treasure tile, the yellow one, then you will put this down below with the common treasure tiles, and then you will keep drawing cat tiles to fill in the appropriate amount of tiles that you're supposed to have out in the fields. After filling in the fields, there will be five phases. The first being fishing, and then you will do exploring, reading lessons, rescuing cats, and then Rare Finds, which deals with the Oshax tiles and treasures. So for Phase 1 Fishing, each player will grab 20 fish from the supply and simply add it to your play area that you will use in the future phases. So Phase 2 is Exploring, which is going to be using card drafting. So what you're going to do is each player is going to choose two cards that they want and you're going to place them down and then you're going to swap cards. And then you're going to do the exact same thing again. Choose two that you want to keep and pass it again. And you're going to choose two yet again. And the, the last card will be passed. And then each player will have seven cards to which they can choose from. Now after drafting is over, you have to decide which cards you want to keep. Now keep in mind that there is a cost for each card in which you have to pay fish. Now the cost is located in the upper left hand side of the card and you add up all of the cards you want to keep, the cost, and you have to turn in that amount of fish. So I'm going to keep these three cards here and then the cards that you do not want you're going to put in a discard pile over there and then you have to pay the cost in fish for those cards that you want to keep. The next phase is phase three, read lessons. So what you're gonna do is find the cards that you have in your hand that are lesson cards. And these are the blue outline cards here. Now basically what these are, are just end of the game objectives for you to score points. Now there are private lesson cards where these are objectives only for you, the player. And then there are public lesson cards, which will be objectives for everybody that they, they can use. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your private lesson cards and grab them and put them to the side of your player board one by one. So there's, I got another one in my hand. I'm also gonna put that over here as well. Now you have to put them separate so the other players can see how many private objective cards you have. You cannot stack them. Now for the public lesson cards, you will put them out in the play area to where everybody can see them and use them. Now this particular public lesson card tells me to pick a color. Now, whenever you see a, this card that says pick a color, that person will choose a color cat that they want, and I will just pick red for this example. And you're gonna put this on the card so you know what color is being used for the future. The next phase is rescuing cats. Now, at the beginning of this phase, each player is going to choose which cards they want to, to, uh, to play for this round. Now, the cards for rescuing cats are the green border cards. Now, for me, I am gonna go ahead and just play with Let's do, let's do these three green cards, and these I will hold on to for the future. So now, I have chosen these three cards, I will place them face down, and once all the players have chosen their cards and placed them face down, then everybody will simultaneously flip these over and reveal which cards they have chosen. After everyone's cards have been revealed, then you will determine the speed, which is determined by these boot icons here. Now what you're gonna do, is everyone's going to come or add up their total so mine would be four total speed and then whoever has the most this is going to affect the turn order immediately so for me i got four now someone else they played these two cards and all they had was one total here 
So mine beat theirs, and so I would be in first, first turn order. Now if there was a tie, then all you will do is just maintain the same turn order in relation to each other on the, the turn order island. After determining the speed and the player turn order, then you will start rescuing cats. Now in order to rescue cats, you need to have one full basket per cat in order to rescue it. So for instance, this is one full one, so I could rescue one cat with this. Now these are two broken baskets, but if I play them together, it becomes one basket. So as just stated, you need to have one full basket to rescue a cat, but also you need to pay fish according to which field the cat tile you want to rescue is in. So for instance, if I want to choose this tile from this right field, I have to also pay five fish. So I have to have one full basket and five fish. Each player will take turn rescuing cats. So you can rescue one cat at a time. So let's say for instance on this turn, it is my turn and I am going to rescue a cat. Now each player also has a permanent basket in which they can use once per day. Once it's used, you flip it over and then it will become available again on the next day. But for this turn, I am going to choose this cat that I want right here, and then I also have to pay five fish, so I will choose my five fish token and turn it in, and I will use this basket, and then I will immediately place this on my player board. On my next turn, I let's say I want to get this token right here, I will again have to pay five fish, turn it to the, into the supply, and then I also need to have a regular basket to fulfill this, so I will choose this card. And now I will this will become this will go to the discard pile because I have used that basket. And then I will immediately place this tile on my board as well. For my last turn to rescue cats, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this green tile from the left side. Now the left side I only had to pay three fish. So I will turn in my three fish and turn it into the supply. And I'll choose this tile, and then I also have to have a, a basket. So these two together equal one basket, so I will then discard that, and then immediately place the tile on my player board. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place this tile here and cover up two rats and this uh, green treasure map. So, and once, whenever I do that, because I covered the treasure map with the same color, I can then choose a common treasure tile and immediately place that on my board. The rescue cat phase is over whenever everyone passes or if the right and left fields are emptied of tiles. The next phase is rare finds. Now the rare finds are going to be cards that are going to be brown or yellow. Now I personally have these, these two cards here, I don't know what other players may have. But you're going to take turns in turn order and play one card at a time back and forth. So I will go first and I will play this card first. This is take any Oshax uh, cat tile. Now these are the Oshax tiles, so I will immediately choose one and immediately add it to my player board. Now whenever you add it to your player board, you immediately choose which color you want that cat to be. So I'm gonna choose, I want that to be an, a green cat tile. When it's my turn again to play another rare find card, I will want, choose to go ahead and play this card, which is take any rare treasure or take two common treasures. Now, throughout the game, say we had a, uh, gotten this rare treasure tile that was placed out here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one. I'm gonna choose to take any rare treasure, so I'll take this and forego those, and then I will immediately place on my player board, like so. And then once everybody is done playing their rare finds card, then that's the end of that phase. At the end of each day, which is being the end of all five phases, you will empty the field so the cats will flee and you will empty all of these fields here and then you will move Vesh's boat along to the next day. Now if this was here and then it moved to the hand right here, then that triggers the end game and you proceed to scoring. When the last day has been completed, then you will proceed to scoring. Now the scoring is going to be a couple of different things. The first thing being any rat that is still exposed on your boat is going to be minus one point for each rat. 
And then any rooms that are not completed are going to be minus five points per room. Now, if you remember at the beginning, we showed you the different borders for all the different rooms throughout the game. So if one room is not completely covered, then it is not finished and it'll be minus five points. Now, for the third thing is cat families. So what, you, what you're going to do is if you have more than three of a certain color cat tile that's adjacent, so for instance, this, these purples are all touching and they're adjacent, then you can score points. So if there are at least, if there are three, you will score eight points. If there are four, you will score 11, 5, 15, and so on. This one, the red cat family, is all adjacent and there's four of them, so I will get 11 points for that one. Now you will also get points for any of the lesson cards that you have achieved at the end of the game. Now these include your private lessons and the public lessons that were out in the play area for everyone to use. And then you will tally up all the points and see who has the most points and whoever has the most points is the winner. And that is Isla Cats. Definitely like this one. One, because of the theme, as you can tell, we like cats. But it's definitely a solid game, uh, great mechanisms. The rule book was great, easy to read. Uh, I, I just highly recommend this one. So uh, definitely check this out. Uh, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and click that subscribe button to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.